An American nurse and her daughter who were kidnapped in Haiti have been released. Alex Dawsonville uh, was abducted on July 27th while working in a clinic in Port-au-Prince. The New Hampshire woman is a staff member for the Christian ministry group Elroy Haiti. The nonprofit posted to its blog saying, quote, it is with a heart of gratitude and immense joy that we at Elroy Haiti confirm the safe release of our staff member and friend Alex Dawsonville and her child. Neither the group nor the State Department have provided any information surrounding the pair's release or when they will return to the United States. Joining us with more on this is the Haitian Times executive editor, uh, McElville Neal. Um, this is a positive headline, but we should also highlight that this was just one of many kidnappings that happened in Haiti's capital. Um, we know that Dawsonville's, the Dawsonville's received a lot of public outcry locally. Do you feel that helped with her quick release? You think, thank you, Elf. Thank you so much for having us. Um, I think that what we're seeing is um, an understanding that these kidnappings have really taken over the capital of Haiti to the point where we have 200 gangs controlling more than 60% of the capital. People are at their wit's end. They really can't take it anymore. Folks are fleeing the capital as much as they can. And just this week, we've seen, as you're showing now, all of the different protests that are um, part of this widespread outcry to just get help um, with ending all this gang violence. Everyone is obviously relieved that Alex Dorsenville and her child were released today, but the recognition is that there are still a lot more people who are being held captive um, all over the capital who also need to be released. Speak so to me. The hope yeah. is that, Go ahead. Yes. Yes. Soon, um, as we're talking about an international multi force. Um, coming to Haiti to help the Haitian National Police respond to these gangs, that we'll see more positive outcomes like this, where people can be reunited with their families. It's an important detail to highlight, because it's not just about these gangs, as you've mentioned, which control most of the capital. There are many groups and many people doing what they can to keep the place safe. And you mentioned this international group that may come in. Speak to me more about while this um, mother and child may have been released, there is still local pressure um, for more to be done in the long term. Of course. So the UN and various local groups have said that just in the past two months between May and July, mid-July, we had 40 cases of kidnappings and 75 people killed by these gangs. And that's just in a very short period of time. The issue with the gangs, the crisis rather, has been ongoing and escalated in 2021 after the assassination of Jovenel Moise, our last president. And it's just gone, you know, it skyrocketed from there. And so last year in October, the prime minister of Haiti, Ariel Henry, asked the international community to help um, the police respond to these gangs because they don't have the manpower um, or the arms that these gangs have. And so this has been going on for the past 10 months where we've had close to 20 different international meetings and bodies talking about, you know, how we could, how the international community can respond to this issue with Haiti. And so about uh, two, three weeks ago, Kenya stepped up the African nation and said, OK, they would be willing to um, lead this multinational force to help Haiti's police. And so now we're looking at a situation where we're trying to tell if the gangs are, um, A, just trying to kidnap for ransom as many people as they can before this multinational force comes in, or is it more of B, where we have people who are trying to show the need for this multinational force to come to Haiti, have the gangs, you know, being manipulated to go out there and commit these crimes. We don't know yet what the answers are. Those are some of the questions we're asking at the Haitian Times to see which is it. But there's definitely been a link between the announcement of the multinational force coming to Haiti and the rise um, in the violence we're seeing in the past few weeks. Mm. It's great to get your perspective on this and to understand that while there's some progress with hostages being released, there's more still being detained. And it, perhaps it's because there's an international force on the way and the pressure is really on. We'll continue to watch this closely. Uh, McElvey Neal, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Errol.